Hey guys, Tamak Tips here, and today I have an awesome thing for you all. I will be teaching you how to install Windows 7 on a Mac. No boot camp required, all for free. You do not have to pay a cent. Okay, so but you need a internet connection, of course. Okay, the first thing you need is the two key files. They are the main Windows 7. ISO file and VMware Fusion. VMware Fusion is where we're gonna install Windows 7. It is VMware Fusion is like an app, so you just install Windows 7 and you run in Windows 7 in a window inside Mac. So I hope you get it, but you see later. The link I'll give you for VMware Fusion is a trial, but I have compiled a list of serials so you could enter to activate the full version. But I won't post a link just yet, but I will when I get 150 subs. So tell your friends about me and subscribe. I'll make a video when I have 150 subs so you guys can go download that file so let's go straight ahead and download the two files I'll show you the first one it is the Windows 7 one so you I'll include all links in the description so don't worry let's go to this website and you can choose four different types 32-bit Windows 7 home premium um, 32 bit Windows on Premium 62 and then professional. So let's go ahead and download this one. It will take about 40 minutes to an hour to download because it is quite a large file, 2, two gigabytes, 2.3 gigabytes. I already have the file, so don't need to go download that. Next thing you'll need will VMware Fusion. You just download try for free, you click it, and you download the trial. You need to um, you need to put on your email address and first name, last name. So they will send you the link, I think. Or you can download it on the spot. But just register. Email is recover activation so you just enter your email address uh, like email dot email dot com so you click continue but in my case I already have one so let's try it so you see the evaluation registration so I don't want to receive email communication yes register Oops, um, I don't yet. So let's click. Just choose one, and then click continue. And it is a thirty-day trial, and um, yeah. So manually download. It's downloading. Okay. Let's just wait for it to download. Okay, so after it finished downloading, let's just let it load all the things. Okay, so after you finish downloading, you should have this window. Just click Install VMware Fusion, click Open, and you click, and you just click Continue. Go ahead to finish. When you go to the serial number part, just ignore it, put nothing inside the box, click continue, and you can activate it later. So, yeah, you can activate it when I have 150 subs. So, let's finish installing this. So, it is installing, and let's speed it up. So it is finished. Install succeeded. Close it. 
go this window, this window, this window, this window. So let's go on and install Windows 7. Let's just go on to the applications and search for VMware Fusion. Okay, VMware Fusion is here. So you double click, open it. This bouncy icon. And there you go. Registration. You. It's lagging. You click later. Click later. You can do it later when I have 150 subs. Yeah. So let's install Windows. So you can install Windows or another operating system in a new virtual machine. So you click this. And you click continue without disk. And obviously, you don't have an installation disk. So you click use operating system installation disk image file. Click this. And you will go ahead and find your Windows 7 file where you put it. So mine is this one. So you click continue. And as you can see, um, VMware Fusion chose it for me. Click continue, and you install it. Okay, so with Windows Easy Install, see so account name. We called it Mac Tips. Account time. Actually, we don't need a password. So Windows Product Key is Home Basic, I think. So your Windows product key will be, let me just go find it. Okay, so I found four of the serials. I don't know if it works, but you can go with continue, but let's just paste it in. You don't have to put it, but I, I'm just going to put it in. So continue. So integration. More seamless and more isolated. So VMware Fusion will not share your Mac documents. Um, so I recommend you do more isolated because seamless you can get uh, viruses in your Mac because as you can see here Windows can modify your Mac documents so more isolated you can drag and drop files so let's click continue and uh, you can see the summary you can customize the settings Okay, so you can see uh, system malfunction. It's just my Windows auto recovery file. So Windows 7, yeah. Okay, so it is installing, loading, and stuff. Settings, you can hard disks actually show all. Let's go to processors and RAM um, I have two gigs of RAM on my Mac so let's just decrease it to 512 and one processor core that's fine okay so this is you can modify other things if you want but this is what I like. So let's power it on. Click start up. It will take a while for the first time, but it will load up quick next time. So let's just drag it. It's a bit laggy because I have screen flow on. Uh, yeah, Windows is loading files. I hope it won't bore you out, but let's speed it up. Okay, as you can see, you have that Windows Windows uh, uh, animation thing. Oh my god, seems like I have to do part two. Okay, so as you can see, it is the Windows file thing. It is loading up everything you will need. Setup is starting. 
Um, please keep in mind that it will lag if you have lots of other Mac applications on. So when you use Windows, I recommend you to close other apps. But yeah. So it is starting and let's wait. It is installing Windows. You have to um, restart for a couple of times. Uh, for the first time and this time only, and the other times you just boot up like a normal, normal Windows computer. So this will take a quite a long time. So we will come back when it's finished. So it is booting up, back up. Maybe the second phase of installing, and uh, yeah. You see the animation, the cool Windows 7 animation in startup. If you have like a Mac Pro or something, then uh, it will it will run flawlessly, so smooth and stuff. As you can see, setup is updating registry set rate reviews. Celebrate starting services and let's just wait again and again. Okay, so it is completing installation. Yeah, we'll come back when it's finished. Yeah. As you can see, it is restarting again. Three times restart. Ting. Okay, it is completed, I think. Yeah, it is completed. Yar, it is completed. And the animation again. It is starting Windows. Yay. See, first use. Setup is preparing your computer for first use. I like this thing. Whoa, it's taking quite a long time. Let's speed this video up. Oh my god, thunder. I'm so scared. OMG, man. So exciting! Oh my god! Oh my god, man, you can see I'm drawing this thing. It's installing VMware tools. Okay. Just minimize that. And I'm just gonna do something to prove that it is in fact working. Oh my god, thunder. While you guys wait, I have something to tell you. You might know this, but I'm having a giveaway for 200 subscribers the uh, subscribers um two there will be two winners and it will be when i have 200 subscribers which is like 90 subscribers away so please do me a favor if you want a chance to earn free stuff and yeah you can join it's international you can join anywhere you want from hong kong or america or or yeah something like uh, australia or something try the internet yeah. Internet Explorer for the win, man. Nah, I'm just kidding. Now let's go to YouTube. Oh my god. It's quite laggy because I have screen flow on, but... Oh, as you can see, or as you can hear, that noise thing. So, let's go to YouTube.com slash Mac. Welcome to YouTube. Cancel this first. Hello, you either have JavaScript turned off or you have an old version of Flash Player. So this is quite a fail. If this video helped you, subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe. Or I will come and find you and kill you. No, I'm just kidding. Bye, guys. See you, guys.